Welcome back. I am Surya and uh, I am going to explain the example first.cc for you now. Uh, let's go into the ns3 directory and then open uh, first.cc. So uh, this is the code which I will be explaining right now. Before I explain each line of this code, uh, I'd like to tell you what this program does. We are trying to uh, create two nodes. One will be the client and other will be the server. And these nodes uh, will communicate through UDP protocol. So let's jump into the code. So you have some header files initially and you do using namespace std you do this because uh, if you do uh, if you don't uh, say using namespace std uh, using namespace ns3 you will have to type this every time you use an object from ns3 class so uh, that's why uh, you type this line and now uh, ns3 log component define whenever you see something new some new function you don't know uh, it uh, you can uh, jump right into the Doxygen manual which they have and I'm going to post this link in the description below so don't worry hmm. okay and then next this is the main function and you're the, you're setting the time resolution to one nanosecond here so uh, time resolution is the discrete intervals at which your program runs in other terms it is the minimum realizable difference between uh, two instances in your program. Next, you're doing this thing called log component enable, which enables uh, recording uh, of all the functions your server and client use and all the packets they receive. So you're logging this at the level info and you can log this at the level all to see everything that uh, everything that the client and server do but let it be at info level right now next you are uh, you use the node container class uh, to create the object nodes and you say nodes dot create two this creates two nodes for you so you have two nodes uh, which you can address by saying nodes dot get of zero and nodes dot get of one this is how you can address both the nodes okay uh, now next you, uh, you have two nodes you need the channel uh, for the two nodes to communicate so you use the point to point helper to uh, to create the point to point object or channel so now for the point to point channel you need to set the data rate uh, in this case we are going to set the data rate to 5 mbps and the delay to 2 milliseconds next you have nodes you have channel but the nodes and channel are not connected so uh, to connect the node and channel we use net device container which contains both the nodes and the channel so uh, you create this object called devices and devices will be equal to point to point install on nodes so the nodes and point to point line are connected right now the point to point channel are connected right now and next you have nodes you have channel and they are connected uh, now uh, you need to set some rules you need to tell them some protocols to follow so the internet stack helper is being installed stack stack is being installed on this nodes so uh, your nodes uh, uh, can now communicate through TCP, IP or UDP. And next, you use the IPv4 address helper to assign IP addresses to each of your nodes. IP, addre uh, IP address helper, address object, address object dot, okay. This is the base IP address at which you start, assi which you start assigning to the nodes. So each one of your nodes will be 10.1.1.1, 10.1.1.2, 10.1.1.3 .1 and so on. And this is the subnet mask, which is the number of devices uh, you can assign with the, uh, this ba base IP. And next, you're going to use this address object 
to assign the IP addresses to your devices so all your devices will be assigned with these uh, with the IP address with these IP addresses uh, and uh, this is being stored in interfaces okay now you have everything ready you have your topology ready and you have also installed the IP address so next what you're gonna do is echo server helper so you're creating a UDP server right now at port number 9 uh, we are using 9 in this case but uh, any other thing would work the same and uh, you're gonna install the server application you're gonna install the server application uh, onto the node 1 echo server dot install node number 1 so you have uh, two nodes node number 0 and node number 1 and you are installing the server application onto node number one so uh, next what you are going to do is tell uh, tell the time at which your server should start and stop your servers to, uh, should start at time uh, one second and it stops at 10 seconds next you are going to create the client and uh, for the client you are going to give the IP address of the server and also the port through which it should uh, ask the data for and then uh, you set uh, some attributes for the client maximum packets it should send is one the interval is one second and the packet size will be 1024 bytes and now you are installing this client onto node number zero so node number zero is your client and node number one is your server so you are, you are starting the client at two seconds and stopping it at 10 seconds so simulation dot run simulation destroy hum so what should do this do your client is starting at two seconds so uh, as soon as the client starts it should send a packet to the server and the server should acknowledge it so uh, let us look at how it works dot slash wrap run first okay uh, so this is what is happening your client is assigned with the IP address 10.1.1.1 and your server is assigned with the IP address 10.1.1.2 your, uh, your client sends 1024 bytes to the server at port 9 okay uh, so as soon as the, uh, as the client start working it's, it sends 1024 bytes to the server and the server receives 1024 bytes uh, from this client at a later interval at this time and as soon as it receives this packet it acknowledges it, acknowledges it by sending another packet through the same port and the client receives uh, uh, this packet at this time and that's it mm. thanks for watching